let's take a look at the difference between a disk and a volume. And I'll be using this on Windows Server 2019. So we're in Server Manager. And if you're not there, you can find it by clicking on the Start menu and then choosing Server Manager. And from here, we're going to click on the File and Storage Services link. Now we see a couple of options that we're going to want to look at. One is the Volumes option. And we see that we have a C and an E drive. And our C drive is 56 gigabytes, and our E drive is 15.4. Now, these are volumes, but they show up as drive letters. So basically, I've just carved up my hard drive into multiple different partitions, just like a pie. We also see the system reserved area. Now, that's just for running the overhead of the disk, so we won't worry about that. So our C and our E drive match up to what we see down here, where it says hard disk. Now, we're actually on a virtual machine, but that's okay. It's the same rules that are going to apply. And our hard disk in this case is 72 gigabytes. So 72 gigabytes is really what our C and our E drive add up to when you also add in overhead. And if we look at the disk, we can see that all 72 gigabytes have been allocated because we can see the C and the E drive have been completely used as far as using up all of the hard disk. It doesn't mean that all the data is filled up on there. It just means that the partitions have been all filled up. And I'll show you what that means in just a second. Let's go over to where it says disks. And we see that the tables turn a little bit. We see now the disk is on top at 72 gigabytes. And we now see the volumes are on, on the bottom. So we just uh, basically uh, saw the same information, but with the boxes reversed. Uh, so one says volumes, where volumes are on top and disks are on bottom, and the other is disks where uh, volumes are on bottom and disks are on top. But the, it all shows the same information. So just as a review, a disk is something that can be carved up into volumes. We can also refer to volumes as partitions. So sometimes you'll hear the old-fashioned term partition or the new term, which would be volume. Now we can see a more graphical view of this entire setup by going into Tools and Server Manager at the top and clicking on Computer Management. Let's go ahead and expand that and double click where it says Storage. And then we'll double click again where it says Disk Management. And we can see now there is more of a graphical view. We can see disk zero, which is our hard disk. And we also see the CD-ROM, which of course you can't really do anything with, but it just shows that it's there. So this, the disk zero shows our reserve data we talked about earlier, shows the C drive and the E drive, and it's using all of our hard disk. Again, it doesn't mean that it's all full of data. It just means that the entire hard disk has been partitioned. We've cut all the pieces of the pie out, uh, even though we haven't actually filled them all up. So what we can do, just for fun, is we can take our E drive, which has no data on it, and choose uh, Format. So we could format it if there is data on it. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And it says, hey, I'm going to erase everything on there. But it still keeps our C drive. So even though we're all sharing the disk zero drive, we are uh, partitioning and formatting our E drive. Now let's go ahead here and choose to delete the volume. Right click, we're going to delete the volume. And now we see that there's 15 gigabytes that's unallocated. So it's not all in use at this point. So let's go back to our server manager. And sometimes you have to restart server manager in order to see this. And we see volumes once again. And we see our E drive is gone. And if we go down to where it says disk, we can see that 15.5 gigabytes are still unallocated. Before it said it was all being allocated. Now it's showing that it's not all being allocated. So let's go back to our computer management. And from here, if we want, we can go ahead and create a new volume or partition out of this particular drive once again. This time, let's just go ahead and take part of it. So we're going to go with, say, one third of it. Click Next. And we'll make this the F drive. And we'll choose the default formatting and finish. And now we can see that we've used five more gigabytes, but we still have about 10 more gigabytes that are unallocated. If we want, we can right click on the drive, we can change the drive letter, we can change other things. Let's go ahead and say this is now the G drive. Get a little warning. Yes, 
And now it's going to change over to the G drive after a few seconds. And now we see it's done. So now we know the difference between a disk or a hard drive and a partition or a volume. Once again, the disk or hard drive is the physical disk and the volume or partition is what we cut that disk up into pieces to create various different drive letters.